Hi, Alex here from Rebeller.com and in this video I am going to talk about how you can implement virtual currency into your app. So without further ado, let's get started. In the last video we have finally made some purchases. So this is how our project looks like now. We can have all of these purchases, uh, auto-renewable subscriptions, uh, consumables, non-consumables and so on. And of course we can restore our in-app purchases. But what happens when I buy, let's say, 100 candies? and then I buy 300 candies. These need to be uh, managed by your app. And one way to do that is through user defaults, but, uh, so that can be saved inside your app, but once your uh, user deletes the app from their device, everything, all data will be lost from user defaults. So, another uh, way to store these important data, because of course it's important, uh, people have spent money on that. Another way to store it is through teaching. Now, once the user deletes their app or your app from their device, the keychain remains the same. Data will not be uh, deleted from there. And once your user re-downloads the app and restarts it, data could be fetched from the keychain back to your app. Now, this is fairly complicated to add, so I have created a wrapper around a Swifty store kit with which you can do all sorts of things and all of these things that you have just learned, but much, much easier only with one single line of code. And let me just stop this and show you the example project. Now, let's just build and run it. The wrapper is called Rebeloper Store. And you get to add two files, two more files to your project, to your existing project that you have just created and you can manage all of your in-app purchases and virtual currency with the help of Rebeloper Store. So, uh, right out of the box, I have created an example project to uh, show you how powerful Rebeloper Store is. So, once you start the app, you get uh, these three buttons. The first one is a button where it takes you to the auto-renewable subscriptions. The second one is where it takes you to the consumables and non-consumables. And of course we have this restore purchases button. So let's take a look at the auto-renewables. So here we have two auto-renewables, okay? And we can, uh, and of course, just think about it, these, all of these texts are fetched from the Apple servers. So we can buy weekly subscriptions, monthly subscriptions, or a 90-day subscription, or you can buy a non-renewable subscription. So let's go back. And now we can buy another type of subscription. While the other one is coffee, this one is donuts. And as you might have uh, remembered from the other episodes, these are the member groups these are different groups that uh, you can set up in itunes connect and of course you can cancel auto renewable subscriptions and uh, because they cannot be canceled inside any of the apps for downloaded from the app store we have here a nice little alert that says it all how the user can go into their settings app and uh, cancel their auto renewable subscriptions okay good stuff now let's take a look at the consumables non and non-consumables. And finally, the topic of this video, the virtual currency system. Now let's take a look at the non-consumables. 
So here we have a buy a no ads non-consumable and here you have a buy unlock level because consumable, non-consumables as you uh, know can be let's say a, a new level or just taking out some ads. Here is a test banner ad uh, taking out some ads from the game or just your app. Okay, now let's go back and take a look at the consumables and this is where the power of Rebelloper store comes in because once you purchase all of these consumables they are stored and once they are stored you can also use them all of this with only one single line of code so uh, here in this example we have two virtual currencies the main virtual currency is these gold coins and the secondary virtual currency are these gems so uh, here you can buy a bag of coins or a chest of coins As usually uh, non-consumables are uh, these sorts of packs like uh, you can buy 30 coins and 60 coins now let's take a look at the secondary virtual currency and here you can see that you can buy 50 gems or a hundred gems okay now let's just go back now and take a look at the virtual currency system and as you can see now we can buy virtual non-consumable here a sword and you can set this up inside your app you don't have to set this up in itunes connect you set up the swords the bombs and the helmets inside your app you can buy this virtual non-consumable for 50 coins or you could buy a consumable like these bombs these again are virtual and you can set it up in your app you can buy five virtual consumables for 150 coins and of course you can consume these virtual consumables these bombs of course you can uh, buy virtual goods for the secondary uh, virtual currency uh, also so you can buy the, uh, this helmet for uh, 80 gems okay and uh, let's go back okay and here we are buying it okay and, and of course you see that this keychain this this system in the rebeloper store is now working because there has been uh, the amount of gold coins have been reduced with 50 now and if I want to buy this virtual good for 80 gems it pops up that we have insufficient funds you don't have enough funds to make this action let's click on OK OK or maybe we would buy five virtual consumables OK and then we would consume any of them okay good stuff here let's go back okay and there you have it of course if you wish to you could buy some virtual uh, currency with the secondary virtual currency it, it's all inside rebeloper store and now that i have talked about all of this i want to give you a special offer because you are my viewer and I would like to reward you that you have watched this far. So as of today I am giving a YouTube discount to all of my YouTube viewers and that is that I am going to give you Rebeloper store and all of its documentation because I have lots of lots of videos here with the documentation on how to set it up and how to use it you can see 12 13 14 14 and a bonus debugging app rejection so we have 15 documentation videos and you can get the documentation and the rebeloper store framework for only and here is our price for here for only $97 this is the basic uh, price for developer store okay 
and you can get it at Rebellaper Store, the ultimate in-app purchases guide for iOS and Swift. You will have the links in the download, but just wait there because I am going to give you an offer here. So if I change this URL, you can get it for only, and here it goes, for only $19. So everything you just saw for only $19. You will get the link down in the description. So go ahead, make your purchase. And of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and write them in the comment section or just simply contact me. I answer to all of the emails. So go ahead, go to the link and to our store and read through all the details of what Rebellaper store can give you and make uh, this purchase with a huge, huge discount. Okay, hope you like this video and I hope you will enjoy Rebellaper store. If you did, go ahead and click on uh, the uh, thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos of me, or get notified about new videos, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one.